Hi, my name is David Jung, and I'm an eighth grader from South Korea. So I, I'm actually here to explain about coding, but before that, I'll have a brief intro introduction of myself. Um, I am a student who likes to program, and I first met coding when I was a fourth grader. And ever since then, I have participated to numerous of various kinds of coding competitions. And one example, which was the biggest among them, was the Samsung Junior Software Competition, um, where over 6,500 people actually participated, and it was held from last June to November. My mission was to create um, an application that fits that year's topic. And the topic that was given to me was happiness. So I came up with a guide ap application for package travelers and I was very fortunate enough to win the whole competition. And I have actually won about $10,000. So if you know how to code, you have these kind of opportunities. Um, so now let's talk about real things. Coding, software control, programming. How familiar are you with these kind of topics? Well, people often feel unfamiliar and have a biased impression in these kind of subjects. And it's because they don't think it's necessary, and they also think that it is very hard that, and it's a foreign type of subject. However, if you look at the current flow and current flow of the society, I think coding is not an option for you, but is is a must. So we're currently living in the age of fourth industrial revolution, which is often called the information oriented society. We are surrounded by tons of electronic devices, and we, are, we know that we are highly dependent on them. So for example, if I come up to, out to you and say, okay, now I'll take your smartphones, smartphones away and your MacBooks away. Now live without them for just a month. And who here can say, it doesn't bother me? No. Yeah, there is, but there's really very few. Um, so, um, and the society will be evolving in a way where it um, will, will, where we will be um, even more dependent on these electronic devices. And we will not only live surrounded by them, but we will live with them. So in future um, automated society, um, jobs, education, and businesses will be based off of these electronic devices. And the skills that require um, to control electronic devices, CPUs, and programming will be also necessary. Then, how should we control the CPU-based electronics? Um, sorry. <laughs> Where should I? <laughs> okay, so how should we control the CPU-based um, electronics? Siri or Bixby, maybe, but we need to get to more of a basic point. Um, humans have a brain that control our whole body. And in case of CPUs, uh, in case of machines and, and electronic devices, CPU work as their brain. However, one clear difference is that when humans are born, the brains are already initialized to learn. But when CPUs and, and, and electron, electronic devices are first made, they are not programmed to do anything. They need commands and they need programming languages to make them learn. So we can say it's a undeveloped um, area where we should program them for the first time. Um, but there's a problem. Computers use these kind of languages and these are called the binary language. Um, they, they are the language that is made up, made out of one and zero, and it is very hard to understand them, and we ni neither need to understand them. Between this binary, binary language and the English, which is the most common language on Earth, humans came up with um, several programming languages that we and both the machine can understand to give them orders. So C, C++, Python, Java, all these programming languages that you know are in this middle section. 
Um, but as I said, many people know this as very, very hard languages. So I have prepared a simple example with you um, to together interpret a small part of um, coding language. This is a code that was written by um, a programming language called Python. So let's just simply read all, all that together. So it says first, a equals one. And if you know elementary math, you know what that means. A is one. Second, it says that B is two. The same logic, B is two. And here comes the slightly more difficult part. It says C equals A plus B. And if you can just think about it for a simple time, you can just substitute A with one and B with two, which equals C equals three. So we came up with that idea. Until that was very easy. And it gets, it gets kind of complex for the next few lines. Um, it says, if C is bigger than two. So we can actually interpret it as a form of language. So we can just read it as we read a book or an English paragraph. So continuing, if C is bigger than two, then written is print C is bigger than two. So it actually means if C is bigger than two, then print C is bigger than two. And then, and then below, there is a, um, an, another comment, which is else. You can see that if C is bigger than two and else are on the same line. And that does mean it's the, uh, the else means the opposite case of the if C is bigger than two. So if C is not bigger than two, then we execute the line print C is not bigger than two. So what will the result of this whole paragraph be? Anyone who knows the result of how this whole code will end? Uh, uh, louder? Yeah. Actually, this code was a code that uh, many coding teachers say, oh, you, sh you probably should learn Python for at least um, some, some several weeks to understand this code. But as you have read with uh, me, um, you know that it's not that hard for you. And coding is no longer and should be an unfamiliar, unfamiliar op subject with you. And the result is, as she said, um, is C is bigger than two. So if you want to live in a society where you are surrounded by electronic devices, and if you want to succeed in also in the future automated society, I strongly recommend you to have interest in coding and start preparing yourself for the upcoming events so that you will successfully live through a life where coding becomes a base, like math is the base of whole subjects like these days. And I just want to tell you one thing, coding is inevitable. Thank you.